Thank you, Max and Kevin. Well, nothing quite that severe projected to be in our area. Not seeing anything in the way of hail. What we are seeing, though, are those warm temperatures still. Temperatures in the 80s most places. Well, good evening, everyone. A hot day out there today for sure. We saw 90 degrees as a high temperature today in Tallahassee. Bainbridge getting up to 88, Valdosta 89, and other cities right there in the mid 80s. So it was a scorcher out there today. Definitely. And of course, our thoughts and prayers also go out to uh, Stacy, <laughs> who's going to take a first look at local. <laughs> All right, thanks guys. Thanks for the thoughts and prayers. And well, uh, fortunately, we don't really need them here because we're seeing lots of sunshine and dry conditions. In fact, that high temperature today, 84 degrees. Now we do have a little bit of severe weather to report now. We've got into Covington, Coffee, and Geneva counties, a tornado warning. So some of the rotation is being indicated on radar with some of these stronger thunderstorms. So uh, keep tuned in. We'll let you know if these are going to affect any other counties. That is moving to the northeast, so heading towards Dothan. So we'll watch that storm system as it does move. And here it is now on the radar. You can see some of the heavier showers for Tallahassee. None of that is severe as of right now. But we are watching this system or this storm cell right to the west of Dothan uh, for the rotation already embedded in that storm system now. So tonight the showers persist and into the day tomorrow. So if you're headed out to springtime, Tallahassee, maybe carry that umbrella or that poncho with you as we've got some hit or miss showers throughout the day. Well, good morning, everyone. We've got the showers around now for us. We'll go ahead and zoom in on those and show you we've got some heavier downpours now just to the south of Madison. Already seeing a lot of lightning strikes as well, up near 200 lightning strikes every 10 minutes. So lots of lightning out and about there now and some heavier rain. Those storms moving off to the northeast now rather quickly. And we've got some shower activity as well down uh, through Thomasville now, just to the south and east of the city there. Some lighter showers, but this is the story we'll be seeing throughout the day today. Hurricane warnings posted as far north as Massachusetts. So this storm is still very, very big and well already starting to have its effects on the east coast. You can see where some rain bands are now making their way onto the Carolina coast there. Some heavier stuff already going through Wilmington as well as Charleston. Well, good morning, everybody, and happy Tuesday, beginning to feel like another summer day with those afternoon thunderstorms, but we could be seeing some spring-like conditions enter back into the forecast, and I'll get to those details. Coming up for now, though, it's 81 at the airport, 83 downtown, under mostly cloudy skies. We've got dew points in the mid-60s in most places, but some lower 70s even. It's 72 dew point in Monticello. 72 in Wilma. These just mean that it's feeling really sticky outside and that's adding to the summer like feeling outside. Now those temperatures are already beginning to warm up. We're in the upper 70s, lower 80s, 81 in Tallahassee, 78 there in Monticello, lower 80s at the coast. And these temperatures are really going to warm up a few degrees today before we start introducing the chance for those afternoon thunderstorms. Now the local radar quiet right now, but this is all going to change in a couple hours. We're already seeing those clouds begin to pop up now and with that will come the rain and thunderstorms across the southeast still relatively quiet we're beginning to see some sea breeze showers take shape now into southern florida and even now some into into eastern georgia there is a low pressure system though providing flooding rains to eastern texas and you can't really see it right now but there is a cold front draped right there across the lower Mississippi Valley and that's headed our way and will be giving us some spring-like conditions over the next several days. First though, we'll be dealing with those afternoon thunderstorms through the day today. Notice by 7 o'clock tonight, there's the rain around. So most of us will be seeing a shower or even some hearing some thunder tonight. Then we clear up through the overnight hours as we lose that daytime heating. Here comes that cold front pushing eastward. Tomorrow afternoon, that will cross through for us, and we'll be seeing some widespread rain tomorrow. We are in a slight risk for some severe weather. That just means maybe some uh, wind damage, maybe some isolated hail, but we're not talking anything in the way of tornadoes. That moves on out, then we're left with high pressure, and that's what's going to give us those cooler temperatures and maybe those spring-like conditions back into the forecast. For now, though, still dealing with that summer-like pattern, you can maybe find some relief at the beach. We've got east winds at 5 to 10 knots, that surf at 1 to 2 feet. Today, though, partly sunny to begin, but we're already starting to see those, those uh, cumulus clouds. They're white right now, but once they turn dark, 
we'll be seeing the rain follow pretty quickly after that. We are at a 60% chance, and most of us will see those pop-up showers today. We'll be reaching that high temperature of 89 degrees. But then tonight, that rain beginning to end after sunset, so once we lose that daytime heating, the rain will begin to taper off. We'll be in the mid-60s for overnight lows, 66 there. And then there's a shot at your seven-day forecast. Notice tomorrow that cold front comes through, so we'll be seeing the widespread showers and maybe, maybe some severe weather. We are in a slight risk, so keep it tuned right here. We'll let you know what to expect. As that cold front moves through, though, we dry out for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We're going to feel less humidity and those temperatures right there in the mid-80s. So a great way to end your work week and begin your weekend. But notice we do introduce those rain chances back in for the end of your weekend and the start of your next work week. Well, good evening, everyone. A rather hot day out there today. Saw a high temperature of 90 degrees there in Tallahassee, 88 in Bainbridge, and 89 in Valdosta. Every other city seeing the mid 80s, so rather warm day out there today. In fact, once those clouds moved out of the way and that sun came out, those temperatures soared. By 4 p.m., we were at 90 degrees, and well, that tied a record that was set back in 1935. So a hot day, and it looks like we've got more hot temperatures on the way. Of course, I'll get to those details in the seven day. 63 was that low, so again, above average for this time of year. When we didn't see any of that rainfall today, yesterday was our better chance of seeing that rain, and we didn't see a whole lot yesterday either. We're already almost five inches in deficit for this time uh, of the year, so we certainly do need that rainfall. Fortunately, we've got uh, some of that hopefully to talk about later on. And we've got temperatures 86 right now in Tallahassee, 88 in Valdosta. Humidity rather low though, so that's fortunate. It's not feeling quite like the midsummer just yet, even though those temperatures are right there, very hot. Got a few clouds out there today, just some really cute cumulus clouds, as I like to call them. Just a few puffy white clouds out and about. Well, they're kind of clearing out now and uh, we're seeing a lot of that blue sky out there. And that's the whole story around the southeast as well. High pressure is in control, so really looks like the same story into the day tomorrow. And Futurecast does kind of break this down for us. Those clouds pushing on out tomorrow looking nice and clear, and then maybe just some stray clouds, cumulus clouds through the day tomorrow. Tuesday looks like the better chance for Maybe an isolated shower or two. Those are really going to mainly stay off to the eastern zones, though. Tonight, 59 inland, 65 at the coast, so mild and that humidity around as well. A few, little bit of patchy fog could be possible uh, if you're headed out early enough tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, hot. We've got hot right there uh, with three explanation marks, so 92 is what we're forecasting for some of those inland locations. Mid-80s there at the coast and a few clouds around, but really, Tomorrow is going to be a hot day out there. And your three-day planner shows Monday at 92, but then Tuesday, another day in the 90s. Cooling off a little bit by Wednesday. Thursday and Friday look to be your best chances for the next shot at some rain.